Hello everyone. Here we are with an exponential equation to be solved. This exponential equation contains addition of two exponential terms with different indices but the same base. So let us see that how do we solve this equation. To solve this equation, we just express the equation in the form as 3 raised to the power 5x divided by 3 raised to the power 1, the first term on the left hand side. 3 raised to the power minus 1 becomes 3 raised to the power 1 in the denominator plus the second term becomes 3 raised to the power 4 divided by 3 raised to the power 5x becoming equal to 28. Now, in order to linearize this equation, that is to remove the fractions, we multiply both the sides by 3 into 3 raised to the power 5x. This multiplication results in 3 into 3 raised to the power 5x into 3 raised to the power 5x divided by 3 plus the second term becomes becoming equal to 28 into 3 into 3 raised to the power 5x and this can be simplified as 3 raised to the power 10x plus 3 raised to the power 5 is equal to 28 into 3 into 3 raised to the power 5x. We will not multiply the arithmetical term at this time. We will keep them just like this and we bring all the terms on the left hand side to get an equation 3 raised to the power 10x minus 28 into 3 into 3 raised to the power 5x plus 3 raised to the power 5 is equal to 0. This equation can be represented as 3 raised to the power 5x whole square minus 28 into 3 into 3 raised to the power 5x plus 3 raised to the power 5 is equal to 0. So this becomes a quadratic equation in 3 raised to the power 5x. And we can factorize it, but it will be very cumbersome part. So, we just use the quadratic formula and get the value of 3 raised to the power 5x. So, 3 raised to the power 5x becomes equal to minus, minus 28 into 3, plus minus, under root, minus 28 into 3, whole square, minus 4 into 1 into 3 raised to the power 5, divided by 2 into 1. This becomes with some simplification as 3 raised to the power 5x is equal to 28 into 3 plus minus 28 square into 3 square minus 4 into 3 raised to the power 5 divided by 2. Now we separate both the parts in plus minus. So 3 raised to the power 5x becomes equal to 28 into 3 by 2 plus minus. We take 3 square common in the under root part and the term becomes under root 3 square into 28 square minus 4 into 3 raised to the power 3 whole divided by 2. So, this becomes equal to 14 into 3 plus minus 3 square comes out becomes 3. Again, the terms in under root can be expressed as 2 square into 14 square minus 2 square into 3 cube by 2 and it becomes equal to 14 into 3 plus minus 3 into 2. 2 square comes out into 14 square minus 3 cube divided by 2 and 3 raised to the power 5x becomes equal to 14 into 3 plus minus 3 under root 196 minus 27 and this becomes equal to 14 into 3 plus minus 3 root 169 and luckily root 169 is 13 so it becomes equal to 14 into 3 plus minus 3 into 13 we take common 3 on the right hand side and 3 raised to the power 5x becomes 3 into 14 plus minus 13. This gives us two values of 3 raised to the power 5x. Those are equal to 81 and 3. All this we could have done without using algebra in the first step itself by expanding the arithmetical expression. But there are some chances of some arithmetical calculations becoming wrong. It is always better not to take risk with these big arithmetical expressions and use the algebraic tricks to solve them or simplify them. Now we take the first solution that is 3 raised to the power 5x is equal to 81. Now we represent 81 in the terms of the powers of 3. So 3 raised to the power 5x becomes equal to 3 raised to the power 4. Since the bases are equal, the indices also must be equal. So 5x becomes equal to 4 or x becomes equal to 4 by 5. Considering the second solution that is 3 raised to the power 5x is equal to 3, it can be expressed as 3 raised to the power 5x is equal to 3 raised to the power 1. 
here also bases are equal so indices also must be equal so 5x becomes equal to 1 or x is equal to 1 by 5 this is how we get two solutions of the given equation those are x is equal to 4 by 5 and x is equal to 1 by 5 we can verify that both these solutions satisfy the original equation that is 3 raised to the power 5x minus 1 plus 3 raised to the power 4 minus 5x is equal to 28. Thanks for watching.